Hello mga kasubs and welcome to the Sarsicles TV. My name is Mark and for tonight we will be uh, listening and reacting to Timothy Run and the song Take It or Leave It. Nice. Catchy title. And before we give it a go, a quick thank you to all our viewers and subscribers. Thank you for your continued support. Let's keep the ball rolling. To our dear members and sponsors, maraming salamat sa extra loving ninyo. Huwag sana kayo magsawa. Sana dumami pa kayo. And finally, do check out our two other channels, Posh and Hiyo and Catherine Daily Vlog. Without any further delays, let us give this song a go in 3, 2, 1. Hi Wishers, this is Timothy Run for more exclusive video. Okay, <clears throat> I thought he was gonna say where he's based. So that is the end of the song. Very interesting uh, performance. I, I love the cowbell, that was a nice touch. The tuk, tuk, tuk. <laughs> Very nice sound. I, I dig the cowbell. Um, at first, I, I would describe his genre as, you know, Manila sound. Uh, very, uh, it has some nostal nostalgic feel, um, and 
also the keyboard re also reminds me of, of that you know if you uh, watch uh, Return of the Jedi you know the the part where um, there's a party in Java the Hutts um, I, I don't know if it was a ship or a palace or you know some cave or something but that there's that you know the, the, that keyboard thing very 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 nice uh, guitar sound very uh, nice as well so nothing but nice things I can say about the song uh, but I did notice you know um, there were some there was only so there uh, the uh, a, a strat has three knobs I think one is volume then two are tone the only thing that has a tuning uh, that has a turning knob is the I think the volume the one at the very top uh, my concern there sometimes for especially for those who are not yet um, very well acquainted with their instrument is when you strum or when you play you might hit you, the, your pinky or your ring finger across that and it might injure you so I do not recommend um, leaving those metal pots you know that extended part of the pots that are exposed uh, also the, uh, the the one for the uh, selector pickup selector does not have that plastic thingy uh, because of that it, it's quite short so you'll have to be very uh, you need to pay attention when you're switching between um, pickups but in this particular song I don't think he, he did switch pickups he was just in one configuration and it's more of just the use of effects that altered the, the sound the signal of his guitar very nice playing as well this one has a very catchy t t uh, tune especially the t -t 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 take it or leave it <laughs> yeah and you know my my favorite part here is the way he uh, he switches between instruments. So very cool guy. You know, it, it's like how he's a he's literally a, a one man band. He, he does the keyboards, the guitar, but I guess having a full band has its benefits as well because all throughout the song you can hear both instruments and you you don't have to switch between the two unless you are using you know some sort of looper. Uh, and so that the, the other instrument can do some continuous rhythm section as you play the other instrument in a uh, in a lead fashion, in an ad lib fashion. Uh, the effects that he used in the uh, lead part slash outro, I'm not hundred percent sure because it's a very nice sounding, distinct sound, but it's hard to tell. Um, but I have a feeling it's a combination of a chorus and some mild uh, delay. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. I hope to hear f more from this dude uh, in a live setting. Let's see how, how, how he fares in a live gig. Because this is quite challenging. Um, being a multi-instrumentalist. and you know, Singing, keyboards, uh, guitars, and even the percussion. You know, the, the drum beat is the one that uh, orchestrates that. And it, it, would be, it would be nice to see how he, uh, how he executes in, in a live setting. For now, that will be my reaction. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. If you haven't done it yet, these are the stuff you can do to show loving to our channel. Please do as many as you can. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about the Sarsicles TV. Sharing is caring. And most importantly, stay safe, everyone. I'll see you on the next video.